Top tips for retirement planning for social workers in England. Hello everyone and welcome. Today, we're tackling a subject close to my heart. Planning for a comfortable retirement, specifically for hard-working social workers like you here in England. You dedicate your lives to helping others, often facing emotionally and physically demanding situations. But amidst the daily grind, it's crucial not to neglect your own future financial well-being. Think of this as your own personal self-care plan for the long haul. We'll navigate the ins and outs of pensions, investments and more, empowering you to make informed decisions for a brighter tomorrow. So grab a cuppa and let's get started. Understand your pension, the Local Government Pension Scheme, LGPS. Let's start with the foundation of your retirement plan, your pension. Most social workers in England are part of the Local Government Pension Scheme, or LGPS for short. This is a defined benefit scheme, which is a bit like a gold standard pension. It means your retirement income is based on your salary and how long you've worked, giving you a guaranteed income for life. But here's the catch. You need to understand how it works. Check your latest pension statement, usually sent annually, or log into your pension provider's website. Don't let these statements pile up unread. They hold valuable information about your projected retirement income and how much you're contributing. Boost your pension contributions and salary sacrifice. Now, simply being in the LGPS is a great start, but to really make it work for you, consider boosting your contributions. Think of it like this. The more you put in now, the more you get back later, and it might be more than you think. Many employers offer a scheme called salary sacrifice. This lets you put money directly into your pension before tax is taken, meaning you keep more of your hard-earned cash. It's a win-win. But remember, pension rules can change, so stay informed. Check the government's website or talk to a financial advisor to stay updated. Don't forget the state pension, your safety net. While the LGPS is fantastic, don't forget about the state pension. It might not seem like much, but it's a crucial safety net for everyone. To get the full amount, you'll need 35 qualifying years of national insurance contributions. It's like filling up a loyalty card, miss too many stamps, and you lose out. You can check your national insurance record online on the government's website. It's like checking your credit score. You need to know where you stand. If you've had gaps in your work history, perhaps due to caring responsibilities or career breaks, you might have gaps in your contributions. But don't worry, you can usually fill those gaps with voluntary contributions. Chapter 4. Career choices and matter. Impact on your pension. Your career path plays a big role in your retirement income. Higher salaries later in your career mean a larger pension pot. So if you're considering a promotion or a move to a higher paying role, factor in the long-term benefits for your pension. Part-time work can be a great way to balance your work and personal life, but be mindful of its impact on your pension contributions. You might need to adjust your contributions or consider additional savings to compensate. Chapter 5. Beyond your pension, diversifying your savings. Now, putting all your eggs in one basket, even a golden pension basket, isn't always the best strategy. Diversifying your savings is key. One popular option is a stocks and shares ISA or individual savings account. These have tax advantages, meaning your money can grow more freely. But remember, investments can go down as well as up, so it's crucial to consider your risk tolerance. Don't be afraid to seek professional financial advice. A good advisor can help you build a diversified portfolio tailored to your retirement goals. Yeah. Chapter 6. Budgeting for retirement, planning your expenses. Retirement isn't just about how much money you have, it's about how you use it. Creating a realistic budget for your retirement is crucial. Think about your essential expenses like housing, food and bills, but also factor in those well-deserved treats, holidays, hobbies and spending time with loved ones. Don't underestimate the potential cost of healthcare in retirement, investigate private health insurance options or consider setting aside funds specifically for future medical expenses. Remember inflation can erode your purchasing power over time. Factor in a realistic inflation rate when planning your retirement budget. Chapter 7 Expert Help Seeking Professional Financial Advice 
Navigating the world of pensions and investments can feel, well, overwhelming. Don't be afraid to seek help from the experts. Look for a financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning for public sector employees like social workers. They can provide personalized advice tailored to your specific circumstances. Many financial advisors offer a free initial consultation. This is a great opportunity to ask questions, understand their fees and see if they're the right fit for you. Chapter 8. Stay in the know keeping up with pension changes. The world of pensions is constantly evolving. New regulations, policy changes and benefit updates can significantly impact your retirement plans. Make it a habit to stay informed. Your union or professional organisation is a great resource for pension-related information. They often provide updates on any changes that might affect you. Don't rely solely on word of mouth or outdated information. Check official sources like the government's pension service website for the latest updates. Chapter 9. Health is wealth prioritising your well-being. Your health plays a vital role in your retirement happiness and financial security. Medical expenses can quickly eat into your savings, so prioritising your health is essential. Regular checkups, a healthy lifestyle and managing any existing health conditions can make a big difference in the long run. Consider long-term care insurance. It can provide financial support for care services if you need them later in life, easing the burden on your savings. Chapter 10. Planning for the Unexpected, Wills and Estate Planning None of us like to think about it, but planning for the unexpected is crucial. Make sure you have an up-to-date will in place, outlining your wishes for your assets. Consider setting up a power of attorney. This allows a trusted person to manage your financial affairs if you're unable to do so yourself, providing peace of mind. Inheritance tax can be a complex issue. Seek advice from a solicitor or a estate planning specialist to understand how it might affect your estate and explore ways to minimize potential tax liabilities. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at retirement planning tailored specifically for dedicated social workers like you. Remember, securing your financial future doesn't require drastic measures. It's about making informed choices step by step. Start today, even if it's just reviewing your pension statement or setting aside a small amount each month. Every little bit counts towards a brighter, more financially secure future. Now go out there and make your retirement dreams a reality.